Frederick Robinson here from Fast Freddy RC, and as you can see, the multifunction unit has arrived. I have been waiting a long time for this. It was supposed to arrive almost a month ago, but there's obviously delays right now. Um, so I am excited to take a look at this and see what's in the box. So let's go ahead and do that and see what we got. All right, let's see what we've got here. A lot more parts than I was expecting. Cool. So a little bit of uh, some chrome for the box, I think. Coupler plate. Another uh, coupler. A couple of other things I'm not really sure yet. So there's some uh, gas tanks and I don't know, it comes with some extra stuff obviously. I think uh, the Cascadia that I'm going to attach this to actually has this already um, built in as part of it. But I, so I don't think I'm going to need to use that. Warning sheet. Instruction booklet. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. A lot of uh, information on on how to use the uh, the control unit with your radio. Switch plate to attach to the switch on your truck, uh, and then ah tags for all your wiring, so you know exactly. Uh, which vehicle, or I'm um, sorry, which lights you're wor you're working with, right? So everything will be labeled, so you know what light that is. I know what this is. This is the speaker system that'll get mounted uh, inside the truck, and on the Cascadia, it's sort of under the the, the top cowl. Here, it looks like we've got some tie straps, uh, some soft cushion stuff in there as well, um, spongy kind of material, metal clips, I'm not really sure what that piece is. Uh, looks like some cable, cable harnessing. Oh yeah, well these are these are pieces for the vibration unit, I believe. I've seen pictures of it, so that feel and there's a lot of weight to that. More screws. Looks like we've got some grease and a couple of screwdrivers. More nuts and bolts. more nuts and bolts. Holy cow. And look at all of these lights. We got there's the red lights, the amber lights, clear lights. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. Wow. 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 Um and then there's the multifunction unit. Um, it's funny when you see it on uh, some of the other YouTube videos or pictures. It looks a lot smaller. This is this is quite some size. Oh, check this puppy out. There's the speaker system. So that's and there's a lot of weight to that too. Um, and there is. The multifunction unit. It's huge. Um, but I can't wait to put this all together. You can feel 
but you can see all that and then the ones that are going to go to the battery and the motor um, wow yep that's fantastic I don't know what that is, so I guess we'll see in the build. And then here is the control unit that actually fits on the on the truck itself that controls your your volume and some of the lights. I have already seen that as part of the Cascadia build, you actually take this all apart and the piece that's in here, which you can sort of see there's an electronic board inside, maybe you can't see it. Um, that all attaches itself to the Cascadia gas tank, so it doesn't even need this housing. Um, but that is, oh, 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 we've got one more thing, another little bag of goodies right, right there. So um, I am going to go ahead and sort of organize this uh, so that we can do a test, and then uh, I'll be back. So the next video will have... Uh, <clears throat> I'll have a few of these things attached and we can go through a run through just at the sound effects. I uh, just got to figure that all out. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, like I said, I'm going to play around to kind of figure this all out. So we'll see you on the next video.